All right, now we're doing seven cube balling cups. This is by H. Stewart, 23, and 93% of the people like it. So Ronnie the robot is watching someone perform the cups and balls magic trick. The magician has one ball and three cups. He shows Ronnie which cup he hides the ball under, and it's going to be B. And then uh, he mixes all the cups around by performing multiple two cup switches, and that's going to be R. Uh, Ronnie can record the switches but can't work out where the ball is. We're going to write a program to help him do this. Uh, the rules, there will only be, pardon me, there were only, pardon me, there will only ever be three cups. Only two cups will be swapped at a time. The cups will, pardon me, the cups and their switches will be referred to by their index in a row of three beginning at one. So array one, two, uh, array inside array one, two means the cup at position one is swapped with the cup at position two. All right. So uh, R will be an array of integers one through three organized in pairs. There won't be any empty subarrays. And if R is just an empty array, B should be returned. All right, cool. So here's an example. Uh, B is going to equal two. R is going to equal one, two. And since uh, two is here, it's going to swap because uh, B equals two. So the ball's here. So they swap. And now the ball's at one. Uh, this one, the ball's at one. So nothing happens here, right here. The ball goes under two, and now the ball goes under one in this one. So it's at one. And then this one, uh, it's at two, so nothing happens here. This one, it goes to one. This one it goes to two, and this one, it goes to three, just like that. All right, so we could do a for loop with this one, right? We could come down here and uh, iterate through this array by saying uh, four. Let i equals 0, while i is less than oops, r dot length, i plus plus, all right? And then we could say uh, if um, uh, r at i at 0, whoops, r at i, Oops. At zero equals uh, B, we'd say mm, B equals R at I at at one, All right? And then down here we'll do an else if. Uh, R at I at 1 equals B. We'll say B equals, not equals like that, single equals R at I at 0, all right? And then we're going to return B. test that out all right and it works and uh, attempt it just to make sure all right and there we go and that's a cool way to do it but uh, there's another way to do this we could use the reduce method we could come over here and say const uh, cup and balls equals B and R is the arguments with an arrow right here and then down here we'd say R dot reduce All right if you don't know about the reduce method uh, it's just a method that executes a reducer pardon me a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value the first time that the callback is run there's no return value of the previous calculation so if supplied, the initial value may be used in its place. So we're going to be using the initial value, and it's going to be uh, B. Yeah, it's going to be B. Uh, otherwise, the array element at 0, uh, we don't need to know that. And then we don't need to know that either. All right, so basically, uh, down here, we're going to use this uh, arrow function syntax. We're going to have, we're going to have R dot reduce accumulator current value as the arguments. The... Uh, arrow right here and then also the expression here with the initial value after the comma 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, uh, well, actually, with this one, uh, instead of using the accumulator, we can just use B since we're going to be changing B each time. So we'll say B as the accumulator, and then we'll have the current value right here with the arrow right here. And then we'll, we might as well just have the uh, initial value, which will also be B right there. Uh, so the thing about that is we, we can do like cur at zero or cur at one if we feel like it, but there's this thing that we got called destructuring assignment syntax, which is a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from object into distinct variables. So down here, we can do something like uh, const a, B equals array. So we could make the uh, current, the, uh, what was it? The, yeah, the current index, the, the, the current element be A, B, like uh, uh, this. But we're just going to make it be X, Y since B is already being used. So we'll say X, Y right here. And then for the expression, we're just going to do basically what we did uh, with the last one. We're going to say if uh, X equals B, all right, we're going to say, oh, and if you don't know about the ternary operator, uh, the ternary operator is the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and then finally the expression to execute as if the condition is falsy. And this operator is frequent, pardon me, frequently used as an alternative to if-else statements. So what we're doing here is we're saying if x equals b, we're going to ch change it into y. We're going to change the, uh, what is this? So we're going to change the, uh, whatever, the accumulator, which is b, into y. All right? And then we'll just say uh, if not, or else if uh, y equals b, we're going to turn it into x. All right, and if not, we're just going to leave it. Uh, we're going to leave it be. All right, and that's pretty much how that's going to work. Let's test it out. All right, there we go. And attempt it. All right, and let me just go through this one more time, uh, just in case you are a little confused. So we're doing the array. So this array uh, dot reduce. Okay, and then this b is this accumulator right here. Uh, the accumulator because whatever we do in here, uh, each time it's an expression, the accumulator changes to whatever the expression equals, okay? Uh, so B is the accumulator. And then uh, instead of current value, instead of a single current value, we're having a little array where A and B uh, or X and Y is, uh, are the values for the current value. So if basically if X equals B, if the accumulator equals X, whatever you wanna say, uh, we're going to change the accumulator into y. And if not, uh, if y equals b, we're going to change the accumulator into x. We're going to change b into x. And if not, we're just going to leave it b. All right? Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, and you see it does work. So let's just submit it. And you see right here, they pretty much did the exact same thing. Uh, changed it up a little bit with the syntax, but uh, there it is. Right here, they did something... All right, and here they pretty much did what we did at first. And then you can check out all the rest if you feel like it. Let's go over to mine. Uh, just me on this one. Let's go to, let's say, uh, best practice in my opinion. Very much like it, and we'll see you next time.